We are here at RA um, to represent Filipino American uh, youth culture through dance and, and entertainment. Um, we're here just to represent, we're from uh, uh, University of Hawaii at Manoa. We're also affiliated to a, a bunch of different Filipino American organizations like the Filipino Junior Chamber and HPU Filipino Club. About five years ago in 2008, I was a uh, president of one of the Filipino clubs at UH called Katipunan. And during my last semester as president, I started just tinnacling workshops, Filipino American dance workshops. And through that, um, as we started practicing, as we started doing workshops, more and more workshops, we started performing. And the more we performed, the more I figured out, hey, why not we, we continue this? We continue to share the Filipino dance, youth culture, um, not only through our generation, but through the older generation's eyes too, through traditional dance. So. Um, that's what we've been doing for the past five years. We continue to um, represent for our community, not only for our community, but for um, our Filipino-American community through our older generation and the younger generation. My personal inspirations are through a lot of things. Uh, a lot, my parents, my family, um, of course, there's a, they're the foundation. They're the, they're the heart of all of my inspirations and my influences and uh, through my family and friends as well. Um, there's a lot of um, dancers and those, there's a lot of artists out there that's also very influential to me personally. Um, as far as, as dance goes, uh, one, one person that I look up to is uh, the late um, King of Pop, Michael Jackson. He's, uh, I started dancing because of him, um, listening to his music, um, uh, watching him dance, watching him perform. And through growing up, through his main influence um, and through my self-identity as a Filipino-American, I started kind of infusing the two and started discovering myself as, you know, an, as an artist, uh, as a performing artist as with myself. And through that, you know, I wanted to not only share the love of dance, but also want to share the love of my culture, of our culture, Filipino-American culture, and kind of mix those two elements together. And, you know, through that, I started the Technicum Screw um, and hopefully through our um, involvement with the, with the community, um, not only through the arts, but through, the, through our community in general. And hopefully you know, I can, we can continue to inspire the older and younger generation. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate for everybody the traditional Filipino folk dance, the Tinikling, which is known as the most popular folk dance. Um, a lot of people know it as, you know, the dance with the sticks and that's the one Filipino dance that most people will know because a lot of people in elementary school had it as part of their culture day. So from there, what we're doing is we're using that dance and we're gonna bring it up to modern speeds using different songs. Some things that more of our generation would like to hear and we just incorporate that to the same dances with different moves so we can update it and have everybody have a good time. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and you can find us at our own website. Um, the way to spell our name is T-E-K-N-I-Q-L-I-N-G-Z dot com. And um, you can go on YouTube and type that in and then you'll find videos of us dancing too. So we're on a lot of media outlets, including MySpace, which most people don't have anymore, but we still got one. <laughs> we're still on MySpace. We are Technic Links and we are raw artists!